What do you think is sort of the main thing they're hanging their hats on right now? Well, I think the reason you saw that giant increase in the stock yesterday was because they added a lot of subscribers internationally, but also they beat on profit. For a company that is just hemorrhaging cash, I think that was optimistic to investors. But the thing that would make me a little bearish going forward is that they said their strategy is to pour more money into content. Yeah. And so if you're an investor here, Netflix has very high leverage. There's a little bit of concern that they're not going to be able to continue to ask for this break if they still owe so much money. Right. So their uh, option, Steve, so if we say, okay, they face an increased uh, competition on the streaming side, if, by the way, the company is saying since their price increase in January, retention has not yet fully returned to pre-price change levels and that that's affecting them, what options do they have? Just yeah, spending more on content? It's, it's spending more. That's what they said yesterday. They, they had two admissions yesterday. Uh, it's too expensive and people are dropping out and we don't have enough stuff coming out regularly enough for people to watch, that this is what happened in Q2. They're like, we had nothing for people to watch, so people ditched it because it's also too expensive. You have Disney looming, $6.99 a month. It's going to have, what, three quarters of a century worth of awesome right. content, everything from Mickey Mouse to Luke Skywalker. They don't have, Netflix does not have those kind of franchises. And they talked about that yesterday. They believe we can build a franchise on a Disney level, but they haven't really proven it yet, with maybe the exception of Stranger Things. Other than that, they don't have Although it. Although I, I do wonder, Sarah, if investors will at least say, well, if, if, these are, if this is your only option, then you have to spend as much as possible and you have to get as many hits as possible, right? I think they have to spend, sure, but I think they need a more targeted content strategy. I think that's the problem here. When Netflix was trying to just replace pay TV, scale and content mattered. It mattered that you had a large library, not that it was all good. Hmm. But now that they're competing with so many other companies, it's not just about scale. It's now about providing the best of the best. I think they need to invest a lot in content, sure, but they need to build franchises and be more selective about how they invest.